Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this house. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. Man, our van is always a mess. Definitely going to need this fan today. It's supposed to get 105 degrees. We are working in such a beautiful contemporary home today, guys. It's awesome. So clean and nice. We have a big, great, spacious living room area. A lot of Native American stuff here at the sale. We have this rifle. They said it is authentic, so can't wait to see that get that pull that down need a step ladder we have an empty bedroom but we have big plans for this room here's the second bedroom upstairs so I'm assuming y'all saw the Louis purse yes that's nice is this our first Louis we've ever sold uh, not the first but the first contemporary we have a bunch of western purses here too look at the tassels so many tassels What you in wrapping? Royal Dalton. Royal Dalton. Yeah, oh, this beautiful. is what's over there on the yeah. coffee table? Mm hmm They're beautiful. Oh, Royal Dalton. Mm -hmm. Pretty. The boutique stuff should be all the way across here. Now, yeah. I'm going to put one clothing rack in here, and then we're going to hang out shirts and stuff in that closet. We're going to have to. Yeah. Because her clothes are brand new, J. Crew, new with the tag. Uh, brand new. clothes, but they're all double zero or small. Oof. That's hard to sell. So you're gonna have this clothing rack. You have one more clothing, clothing rack, rack over here. And this is gonna be the boutique area. That's perfect. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We have one more clothing rack to bring up. My poor niece has been bringing all these clothes upstairs. But look at this mess. So we emptied out all the clothing. We can start digging through here. A lot of stuff to be gone through. You have to get back in here in these boxes. That's always fun. You never know what you're gonna find. Looks like it's Christmas. There's so much artwork here. So much artwork we have to display. <laughs> oh. So it's wrapped up. We can't even see what it is yet. Have these big metal cabinets full of treasures. And books and games. This is a Yadro. Look at all this here. Need to make room for tables. I'm excited to show you guys this table set down here. It's so wild. It's got like this leather top and the leather seats and like this wood bark bottom with like the wood <laughs> sides. I can't even explain it. It's so fun. A lot of stuff to be gone through. It's exciting. And we have one last room down here, desk area. More western themed artwork. Oh my goodness. Hey, F for Ford. There we go. I might need that. You know, if I ever go western. Okay, I gotta tackle this garage. There is some stuff that we can bring inside. It's a great bookshelf. I think I got all the furniture out of the garage that I needed to. Now what's left is just going through these boxes and start displaying it. And we're gonna be finished in three, two, one, boom. Here we have it. Oh, I'm so glad to have this done. It killed me out here, so hot today. It took me about an hour and a half. Let me show you around. My favorite pieces I found are these metal cactus yard ornaments. Those are gonna sell really fast. Got an air compressor here, put all the desk stuff together. Went through all the tools. Here's some Christmas, there's some good Christmas up here. Some stuff that will sell fast. Organize these shelves. Just some random tools and garage items. Yeah, it's looking really good. I'm glad I got it done, now I don't have to worry about it and I get to go back in the AC. After finishing the garage, we are now working on the basement room. And so it begins. I got my first piece of Christmas up. And next, I'm assuming, I can kind of see that it says Christmas on the boxes, so I'm going to work my way back there. Miscellaneous, parentheses, good stuff. So let's take a look. Um, looks like the good stuff's gone. 
Here we have all the Christmas out. This all came from underneath the steps. Nothing really too amazing, just some generic Christmas. My next project is behind me and um, it's a little bit overwhelming. Oh boy. Look at all the stuff back here, I just realized. There's a lot of furniture, antique furniture, all kinds of random stuff up here. We do have a lot of shelves, that'll help. And then we have a hidden workstation. I have not opened it yet. All right, here's an old one. We have a uh, truck. And some generic other toys. Box number two of toys. Yay! Okay, we have some metal toys, guys. A green Structo dump truck. A red hydraulic Structo dump truck. And then we have a couple Tonka toys. Oh. Transcontinental Freighter. Cool. There she is all together. So it's time. We're going through the, the uh, artwork. Rachel's taking her time going through her, uh, in, uh, uncovering it all. That so one's wild. A lot of Bev Doolittle. Bev Doolittle. Okay. Bev Doolittle. And they have animals in them too. I didn't realize that it said hide and seek. I couldn't tell from close. It's got animals in there? Yeah, it has horses. You have to find all the horses in each picture. Oh. Is that a Bev Doolittle thing she likes to do? Yeah, she likes to she hide things. She likes to hide things in her pictures, huh? We actually ended up finding quite a bit of the Bev Doolittle uh, artwork. This one here. We have this one. Come to find out, she likes to hide a lot of things in her pictures. This one's my favorite. It's got horses. And the trees, and then there's eagles, three eagles, and an Indian here. I don't know if you can see it, but kind of made from the spots in the trees. You might be able to see their eyes, and then their beaks. Here's another one. There are Indians and horses hidden in this one. So hard to see in the picture, guys. I'm sorry, but with the glare. And then we found a bunch of the prints unframed here ranging from 35 bucks to 275 dollars oh, i love that one there is just a lot of cool art in this house and we just spread it everywhere just art a little bit of everywhere So let's go ahead and head downstairs. I'll show you that we're all finished and set up and show you around and what we found. Here we have the basement. I'm super proud of my team and how hard they worked. This place looks great. They did a really good job emptying every box, going through every corner, and utilizing every single open space we have. I still really like this table and chairs. It's just not comfortable. So much artwork everywhere you're going to see. Really decorated in here. The storage room is the biggest difference. And look, we found furniture. Here we have the last part of the storage area. Pulled up these chairs, went through everything on the shelves, organized the shelves. The coolest thing at this sale is this. Um, as you saw, there's so many Native American things, and this is a Absaroka Crow War shirt. I hope I said that right, um, from what we could find. And there's a reproduction, and they paid, I think, around $5,000 for it. It's gorgeous, um, striking piece, very fragile, and I'm excited to sell it this weekend. We have a few more reproduction uh, Native American things. Some of them were in the movies. And they were built and made by this gentleman. His name is John Arasmith. 
And he worked on movies such as Dancing with the Wolves. And that's where this arrow is from. The movie Dancing with the Wolves. We have not priced that yet, but I think one recently sold for about $75 to $200. He created this reproduction Sioux gun bag. And then he made this reproduction cradle board. We have $750 on it. It was made for the film Miracle in the Wilderness. So this is definitely an interesting thing, uh, things and first for us, definitely having any movie props. This is a Hawken rifle reproduction. It's a gorgeous rifle, really gorgeous. Here's some paperwork that goes with the uh, Native American stuff that John Aerosmith made. A lot of these things the family took, but as you can see, we do have some of these things. Like the uh, crow shirt we have hanging for 4000 They paid 5000 for it. Or the appraisal of 5000 There's the rifle, appraised for 1200 The Sioux gun bag, which we have, we put $500 on it, they appraised it for $700. All these things were bought and appraised in 1992. Think most of these things are gone. It's definitely a first for us to have uh, movie props and reproduction, high quality, professionally made Native American items. We even found a real gun. It's uh, broken in a couple pieces here, but we got 50 bucks on it. Yadro, $350. Another uh, fun item we came across is this knife. It was just in this nondescript box, and it's a William Henry collectible knife. $600 on this thing. Apparently, this guy's knives can sell for a lot of money, sometimes in the thousands. Looks like it might have, like, Damascus steel. It's hard to tell, but it's a like a purple glow color to it. The lighting is not conducive to filming knives. We've already had quite a few calls on it, and it was just sitting downstairs on the workbench. So hopefully it'll sell right away and we can get quite a bit of money for it. This knife even comes with its own little DVD. Superlative function deserves to be elevated to superlative art. William Henry Studio. It really is a beautiful knife. This is a look at our boutique room, by the way. Rachel's working on pricing some of our better items. These little marble figures. So we're going to have our purses. Speaking of purses, we decided to go with $750 on the Louis Vuitton bag. Uh, she paid $1,700 for it. I think it was in 2017. And here's my truck display. Do you guys like it? I love it. It looks so good. And then this is where we decided to put all the clothes. All these clothes were in that basement. Poor Eva carried them all the way up. Is this not one of the oldest pieces of clothing you've ever seen? Oh man, and really it's in pretty good shape considering it was just shoved in a box in a uh, armoire downstairs. It's got the shoes. The shoes have seen better days. Hmm, that's not creepy. I'm assuming this is all the sterling and gold jewelry, huh? Or all sterling? Mm -hmm. Brenda got all the Royal Dalton unwrapped and put them on the fireplace. They look amazing up here. We need to price all those trucks. And then this is where checkout's going to be and the rest of the living room. I'm so glad we don't have bulky furniture here like dining room tables, couches. Thank goodness that bedroom was empty. There was no beds or dressers or anything in there. That really helped us display the better items. Gives everybody room to breathe and shop. 
Okay, everybody, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, fun setting this house up with all the interesting and unique things. And I hope it's, it's a success for the client. Until next time, bye.